Hello and welcome to this video, where we'll run through what's new in the latest update to Sage Payroll. First, let's talk about password security. We know how important it is to protect your payroll data from unauthorized access, so we've improved the password security features in Sage Payroll. Once you've installed the update, to log in as the admin user, your password must meet new minimum requirements. If your current password doesn't meet the requirements, you'll be prompted to change it before you can log in. The new password must be between 8 and 15 characters and contain at least one letter, one number and one special character or symbol. Once you've set up your new password, you'll return to the login screen and can now log in as the admin user. When you log into a payroll, if the current password doesn't meet the requirements, or if it doesn't have a password set, you'll be prompted to change it. We strongly recommend that you change it now, but you can choose to change it at a later stage. If you choose later, you'll see the prompt every time you log in until the password's updated. To change it now, enter your admin user password and click Continue. You can then set up your new payroll password following the same rules as before. You'll also be prompted to change your user password if it doesn't meet the requirements. Again, you can change it now or change it later, but if you choose later, you'll be prompted to do this every time you log in until the user password is updated. Next, let's talk about a new payment type we've added to Sage Payroll. A new expenses payment type has been introduced to support the Enhanced Reporting Requirements ERR, coming into effect from the 1st of January 2024. You'll need to process any payments that will be reported under ERR using an expenses payment. This includes payments made under small benefit exemption, remote working daily allowance and certain travel and subsistence items. Please note that ERR functionality will be available in your 2024 payroll update. We'll provide more details and guidance in the coming weeks. To set up expenses payments, go to Company Payroll, then Payments. To update an existing payment to expenses, select it in the list and click Edit. Then from Type, choose Expenses. To save the changes, click Save. Then, repeat this process for any other payments that will be reported under ERR. To set up new expenses payments, click New and choose the Expenses payment type. There's no need to wait until 2024. We recommend that you update your expenses payments now and get a head start on your ERR preparations. Finally, a quick note about the Construction Workers' Pension Scheme and One for All voucher limits. CWPS rates have increased effective from the 18th of September and the new rates are included in this latest update. For more details on the changes, you can visit our Help Centre. If you order One for All vouchers using the link in Sage Payroll, please be aware that new minimum and maximum limits now apply to the voucher value. You can now order vouchers between 150 and 5,000 euro via Sage Payroll. For amounts outside of these limits, you can order directly from the One for All website. That's all for this video. We hope you find these changes useful and easy to use. Thanks for watching.